AM Extra continues to honor Native American Heritage Month. And this morning, we are learning more about a nonprofit organization dedicated to indigenous news. Earlier this month, we first told you about Portland-based Underscore and some of the eye-opening stories reporters are covering. Now we wanted to focus on the overall importance of news centered around Native American issues. So joining us on the couch this morning to talk about why this matters is Underscore Executive Director Myers Fries. Good morning. Thanks for having me. Thanks for being here. Uh, you know, it's it's really fantastic, some of the work uh, that your journalists at Underscore have been doing. Tell us a little bit about Underscore and its mission. Yeah, so um, we, we focus exclusively on covering tribal communities. And I think one thing that's important to know is if you talk to indigenous communities, like other underrepresented groups and communities of color, um, what they'll tell you often is they don't see themselves in the news. And that can be literal, like an absence of, co um, of coverage of their yeah. community. It can also be, uh, you know, they, the coverage they do see, they don't see themselves in it. It's, you know, misrepresentations, it misses the mark. And then I would add one more to that list. They don't see members of their community um, actually doing the coverage, making the decisions in the newsroom. Mm -hmm. So we try to address all those uh, shortcomings uh, at underscore. What are some examples of uh, some of the issues that Underscore covers that might be different from the other mainstream media? Well, it's not always what we're covering, it's how we're going about it, but, you know, broadly speaking, we do a lot of coverage of tribal sovereignty, um, treaty rights, but, you know, we also, in addition to kind of investigative accountability journalism, we like to do a lot of, you know, humanizing profiles, uh, just sh showcasing you know, people from different communities, whether they're artists or, you know, business owners and, you know, really try to take a holistic approach and, and uh, you know, give a, a nuanced portrayal. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, why is some of that, that context and that nuance in, in covering issues here in the Northwest so important? Uh, not just for the indigenous community who might be looking for this coverage and these stories, but also for folks who maybe have a blind spot, who aren't thinking of some of the other groups at the table when they look at these issues. Yeah, I mean, a lot of it is just Understanding, understanding ourselves, understanding this as a, as a whole, um, mm -hmm. knowing knowing our neighbors better, you know, building bridges between communities. I think that's that's important. Yeah. How can people access Underscore? Is it uh, online? Is it a physical paper? Or how how are you doing that? Not the physical paper. <laughs> um, we are digital only, so you can go to our website. It's uh, underscore dot news. That's right out the word underscore dot news. Mm -hmm. uh, and we also have a lot of publishing partners. Um, you know that you can find us at times in the Oregonian, you know OPB, and then a lot of rural and tribal papers as well. Okay. When we mentioned too that you're a nonprofit, are there some other ways that folks can just support your work and support your journalism? Right. Yep. We are a nonprofit, so we we rely entirely on grants and individual donations um, from from readers and viewers. And so um, right now we have Newsmatch, which is a, a matching um, fundraising program where if you donate now, um, it will be matched three times. So it would be triple the, triple the value. So if you donate $50, that's actually a $150 contribution. And those funds are absolutely critical for a nonprofit like us. We, we rely on them for salaries, travel to tribal communities, keeping the lights on. All That's right, awesome. very good. Executive Director Myers Reese uh, from Underscore, thank you for joining us, appreciate it. All right, thank you. And to check out some of their work and to learn more about their organization, go to underscore.news. Time now is 7.30 a.m.